One out of three soldiers who fought in Operation Desert Storm are affected. Ursula Perry has details on research that's aimed to bring some relief. Jimmy Arrocho is a Gulf War veteran. That was seven months in the desert. Shortly after coming home, his health took a turn for the worse. Full body pain, all muscle and joint pain. In 1990 and 91, we sent 800,000 U.S. troops to the Middle East to fight in the first Gulf War. Dr. Nancy Klima says those soldiers were exposed to multiple chemical toxins, including organophosphate, in their uniforms. Out of 800,000 troops, some 300,000 veterans are now ill 27 years later. So one in three came back ill and stayed that way. Dr. Klimas and her team went to work to find a treatment for Gulf War illness and the debilitating symptoms. They put study participants on bikes and measured their body's responses. What they found was their systems were off balance. In this particular study, we're using a biologic intervention. She says the goal is a healthy homeostasis, bringing the immune, endocrine, and autonomic nervous systems back in balance. The study has moved to phase one in humans, and Jimmy hopes this research will finally lead to some relief for his fellow soldiers. I really want to see a effective treatment across all of what is causing the Gulf War illness. It's believed a treatment for Gulf War illness will be made available within five years and it'll be in the form of an injection. In addition to Nova, there are five other sites that are now available for clinical trials due to federal funding. They include sites in California, New Jersey and Boston University. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.